you know, I like a, I like a certain lifestyle. I like uh, certain toys. And, you know, I like a certain way of living. And only reason being is because by from birth, you know, I watched my parents work hard, one and two jobs, and you know, do whatever to make ends meet. And you know, we wasn't. I didn't have everything like that. You know, I used to. I remember used to go to school with sweatpants because <laughs> my parents just didn't have it like that. And people didn't know it, but it is what it is. I, I just didn't have it. And I had to wear whatever shoes uh, that was available. For some reason, when you wear a size seven as a boy, don't shit fit. I know, I never forgot that. You know, what is it, what's it like to not have? And you know, your parents have to, you know, they do what they can so you can get by. And, and school is about learning, it's not about what you got on, but even as a, a kid or a jit, you still want to fit in. You still want to wear the nice things that everybody has, and that's why I go. That's why now I, I, I go for it. You know, things that I want in my life, I make sure I get it now because I didn't have it back in the day. Suki, that's pretty. Stop shitting on people. We're gonna start shitting on people. Got no video. She's living on the big goose. I hope so. Just like this. What's good, gang? What should I say? Good morning, gang, gang. Uh oh. My shit slide. Money What's good, gang, gang? I just like saying this shit. I don't know why. It's like a quick turn up for me. Every time I hear somebody say, gang, gang. I just, I feel like I'm like on my little John shit. I don't know. Feel me, click. Oh, you know that whole, yeah. I don't know. It's exciting. Anyway, what's good, what's good, what's good? Gang. See, I told you. I haven't seen y'all in a minute. Y'all ain't seen me in about two weeks. Probably, uh, probably, uh, about two, three weeks. I apologize, man. But, you know me, if I... If I got something entertaining, I'm going to show you. But the reason why I took a little pause, YouTube, is because I'm coming up on my five years. So what that means is when I came to uh, Miami uh, about four and a half years ago, basically, I, I told myself, man, when I come out here, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm graduating from the hood. I'm leaving the hood. You know, I want to do better for myself. I'm going to go hard. I'm going to work. I'm gonna put all my focus in the in the doing some things, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to I'm trying to uh, get down here, learn how things are going. Uh, I want to get my own spot, which I end up doing. I want to get me a new ride, which I'm in. I want to get my lady down here and my son, and which I did. I wanted to complete a lot of goals. I had a lot of uh, a lot of goals, a lot of short term and long term goals, and I wanted to stack some money. And I just, this shit gonna keep moving. I apologize for this movement, but we'll work with it. I wanna get my shit together. As a, as a man, as you get up in age, you wanna get your shit together. You know, I'm finna hit the dirty 30 soon. And, you know, back when I was, <clears throat> I wanna say 25. Yeah, so about five years, 25. Get my shit together. And I did. I did a lot of wonderful things. I went a lot of wonderful places. Like, you know, was intro to getting my passport and learning some stuff. I met a whole lot of new friends. And I really did a lot of things, man. And it's been great. But my little alarm clock rang off like, oh, oh, shit. Bruh, you almost there. Five years is, is almost up. I got a few months. And like I said, my birthday be coming. As well as the time on my, on my, uh, my plan B, which is my job. You know, that'll be, be hitting five years. So it's like, okay, time to reevaluate because now you need to come up with some new goals, some new, uh, a new blacklist, a new checklist of things to knock out. You know, my uh, dad always spoke to me about the things that you do in your 20s really affect uh, your 30s and so on. 30s affect your 40s. So I broke it down into five, uh, five year increments because. You know, shit, when I was like 24, 25, I didn't really give a damn. Yeah, when in this area came out the other. But, uh, you know, now I'm, I'm back to that. And I'm really trying to get myself together. Trying to get my life together. 
and I just want to make sure I'm on path. You know, I'm I'm still on uh, I'm still on my grind. Another thing is uh, like I said, I've been uh, working on losing weight. If you follow me on Facebook, you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that's what I've been on. Um, I went to go see the doctor on some crazy shit, man. I was in that bitch panicking on a similar situation of losing a friend and some more unhealthy choices I was making in my life. Doc was like, you need to lose 25, you need to lose 25 pounds within a year. And the next time I see you, I just want to see a little progress. <clears throat> well, I ended up going cold with turkey and I lost uh, 25 pounds in a month. Uh, don't know if you can tell by the camera, but you know, I am a little slimmer. I don't breathe as hard as I used to on camera, and I'm more comfortable and with I'm, I'm more I'm more up here with it. You know, I'm more woke about my uh, myself and how I needed to get myself together. Um, I've learned to eat within moderation with things that I like. Uh, I haven't had a soda; it's just not my thing no more. But like I said, I'm I'm learning to change ways and not be on this diet which people like to call it but more but make it more of a lifestyle um i feel better and i said i felt like okay if you come back with a new video it needs to be some type of progress and a lot of people just drop videos and ain't nothing changing they can't give you nothing they ain't doing shit you know the whole point of this is to watch a person rise and to know that you can do it too so i'm actually on my way to work just doing a few hours then i'm gonna go spend time with my lady as we're doing we're still doing the wedding planning and uh that's not easy that's a bag that, that is definitely not easy but i'm in a good mood man i'm in a, i'm in high hopes good mood great spirits and uh I'm trying to think what are some other things that i've been doing oh met some new friends uh i won't put their name in in the in the vlog i like to keep people's privacy but you know they had a wonderful wonderful story about how they used to be farmers and they kind of did something different with their life and they decided to uh you know sell everything and they bought themselves a four bedroom boat um i can't think of the name right now if you check my instagram or my facebook i've posted it you know the real squad yeah yeah i saw that and they was doing it I, they actually invited me on the ship to uh, ship on the boat to experience what that life is about Hold on to the railing. knowledge about it if I ever want to get into something like that um, other than that went to uh, uh, another car lot for Ferraris and Lamborghinis and you can rent the cars or you can buy them cars it's, it's up to you Man, I'm over you can like I said you can rent the cars or whatever you can drive them I was checking out uh a Rolls Royce Don. I checked out a Bentley and I definitely looked at a Ferrari. Not big on Lamborghinis. I like them. I really do. But, uh, you know, my favorite is uh, the 430. They don't have the 430 no more. That's not a vehicle that most people sell. It's more of the newer ones. Which, to me, a Ferrari is a Ferrari, a Lambo is a Lambo. It doesn't matter as long as you get the one that, that you're interested in. I don't care if it's new or old. Whatever. Um... So, I, I went and did that. I, I've had a lot of experiences, man, but not just going in there and checking out the car, but making friends with these people, trying to do some type of business with these people, you know. I always believe in elevating my company, elevating my surroundings. Uh, when we went to go look at some new uh, new places to live. I looked at some houses, some apartments, and some condos, you know, and made some really good friends, too, there, you know. Now, whether we decide to do business, we'll see. But I still went out to make a lot of new friends 
not only it pushes me for new content, but it opens my mind and my brain to new new surroundings that I would have never thought was possible. Been going on, like I said, for those who don't follow my social media platform, this just gives you an insight on things that you may have missed or uh all right trying to get the work and this people don't use blinkers in florida i don't know if that's a that just must not be a requirement but they do not use blinkers in florida so but anyway um i'm, I'm i don't know i feel good and i'm glad to be vlogging again i can't wait to edit this drop my little intro and post it and for those who rock with me and follow me i was really happy to see that my subscriber change uh the amount of subscribers that i have did not change the whole time i've been gone that number stayed consistent man it, it really let me know i have got i got real people i'm surrounded by real people you know people that's watching my vlogs they real genuine people they didn't you know sub and then unsub they are real people the number didn't move in the whole two three weeks i've been gone i'm gonna say three weeks two weeks vlogging because usually i try to give you a video i try to stay ahead with a video a week ahead y'all did not move man I, I truly fuck with that oh my god i fuck with that so y'all some real ones uh as far as my subscribers if you when i start doing my lives again i really want to give give blue wrenches out to those who who rock with me and support me who's always there who watches the channel watching me grow commenting you know what i'm saying that's things that i look for because i'm making genuine friends and i really do plan to travel and meet some of my subscribers and get them on there and let them talk about their life what they're going through their struggles how they overcame it because that's like i said that's what my channel to be about i don't want my channel to be on some on some phony fake shit man where you watch me blow up and life's great for me and you still struggling. I want my channel to be about where we can help each other. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're looking for a job and I know somebody hiring, you know, or another subscriber may need help in some other department and somebody else can help them. I'm trying to make like a little family, man, where we all come up. I ain't never been selfish. I've always gotten to other places or opened a new door because somebody was on the other end willing to help me. You know, I really want to... Uh, get rid of a lot of negative thinking that you know we have about each other because i don't believe in that you know i'm just that i'm just that type of person but anyway i do appreciate your time this is just an update you know i'm gonna come with some new fire like i said gang gang i fuck with all of y'all and appreciate to all my subscribers who never left and still rocking with me and if you are new we're still living we always live I'm saying, you know what it is. I'm on my way to work. I'll holler at y'all later. I'm out.